Yes. When it came time to show support, I was there 100%. Um, you know, I told the, the manager, said, hey, we have the possibility of doing this, but Patton doesn't know whether he wants to do it. What are your thoughts? Um, you know, and I told him, look, I'm here for Patton. If he wants to do it, I'm here. If he doesn't, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. So it just didn't matter. I was, I was fully supportive of him getting help and, you know, uh, prevailing through this, you know, dark moment. And we all went through it, you know, in one form or another. Um, you know, I remember at times feeling like pandemic is going to kill me, not by the, but by the virus, but, you know, but because of the lack of, um, um, movement, you know, I, I've been used to playing on stage since I was 17, 18 years old. And for all that to stop, you know, was, it, it took a toll on my body, you know, cause I was always like active and, you know, and play on stage, going through airports, you know, running here, running there, you know, just constantly. And, and for that to stop was, was, you know, was really difficult. So I, I can't imagine what Patton went through. And, um, you know, I'm happy, very happy and very proud of him that he's, you know, he's, he's taken care of his health and, um, and he's, he's doing a lot better. We did a tour in South America. He kicked fucking ass and, and it's like, he was on point, you know, correcting us, you know, being the conductor that he is, you know, and, um, and at one point, fighting with a drone. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing that. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, man. Yeah, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. 